Hello, uh, this is a question on number three on your worksheet. Uh, we just did it in class. Uh, I want to explain one more time. Uh, so first, let's read the question. So a parachutist jumps from our, an airplane at a height of 500 meters. So he falls and is starting from breast for 6.0 seconds and then open his parachute. And after opening the, the chute, he very quickly reaches a constant speed of 10 meters per second. So how long does it take him to reach the ground? So now you understand this question, there's a two stages. First stage is the free fall. So during this free fall, we should have an acceleration uh, equals 9.8 meters per second squared. That's free fall. So let's draw a VT graph. So it should have zero velocity at the beginning and then uh, reach a velocity. The velocity should be pretty big. If you free fall for six seconds, you should reach a very fast speed. Uh, so at some point, at this point, actually the time here should be six. 0 seconds and the velocity here you can find it out so this is the velocity and then after this he quick open his parachute and then quickly reach a speed so it says very quickly reach a speed so you can assume it takes no time to uh, tra tra have a quick transition to a constant speed so and then for the rest of the uh, dropping, so the person is gonna travel at a constant speed. So that means you can definitely draw uh, something like this. Okay, so basically you can see there's no time for the transition. So the velocity is gonna drop from the, this velocity to 10 meters per second. So here should be 10 0, right? And this is actually the velocity we can find out at some point. And then it end up at somewhere when it arrives the ground. And how much the time? We don't know. If we can find this out, that's going to be the answer. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the stage one. So let's label this A and this is the uh, oh. This is a B. So this is a C, right? From A to B, now that's actually from zero second to six point zero second. Okay, so we need to find out how uh, how far it traveled during this six point zero second. Then we can use five hundred to subtract this. To get to to figure out how much distance uh, he has to travel at the speed of 10 meters per second. Okay, so A to B that's zero to six seconds. So you can find out how much the distance traveled by using D equals uh, average velocity. Uh, average velocity times the time. So we know the time, we don't know the average velocity. So uh, we actually can find out the uh, average velocity by using this formula, V initial plus V final divided by two. And we don't know the V final here. So we can use V final equals V initial plus AT, okay? Now if you do all the way like this, no problem. You can find out the final velocity first, Plugging here, you get average velocity. Then plugging here, you get the displacement. And but if you look for a formula, you get this: v d equals v initial t plus one half a t squared. If you use this formula, you can just plug in everything uh, it's available, so you can get the d right away. So we better call this d d1 here now the dis that's actually the area of this triangle 
and then we call this called D2. So then we're finding the D1 right here. Okay, let's plug in everything. So we should know this in this from 0 to 6.0 second. The information we know is V initial equals 0, uh, acceleration equals 9.8 meter per second squared. So you can see I use positive for the acceleration because we take the down direction as positive. So we also know the time equals 6.0 seconds. So the three pieces of information plugging into this formula, we can get the one equals this is zero, it's gone. And one half, A is 9.8 times 6.0 squared equals 176.4 meter. Okay, don't be surprised I have such a quick mental math because I paused the video. Okay, here you go. We find out the D1 and we, are, we know actually the total displacement must be 500 meter right here. So then we know the D2 must be 500 minus the D1. Uh, which we can use 500 minus 176.4 equals 323.6 meter. Okay. So, and then look at the second stage starting from, uh, so from B to C. So if you look at the time, it should be like at 6.0 second all the way to, uh, we don't know, to, right? So we need to find out this time. Okay, so, but from this uh, B to C, we know the displacement, we already got a D2, and we also know the velocity equals 10 meter per second. So the time T2 here, obviously equals the D2 divided by the V2. So V2 is actually the velocity here. Uh, V2 is actually equal to this, 10 meter per second. So that's easy, so it should be, 323 divided by um, 0.6 divided by 10, so we should get 32.36 second. The total time we got should be 6.0 second plus 32.36 second. Added together, we should get 38 second. Uh, because look at it, uh, the 6.0, we have two second digits, so we just keep uh, uh, keep one more digit here. So we should get 38.36 round one up. So 38.4, that would be the answer. Okay.